right, what's up guys? So moving on to the next example. A soccer ball's height in meters, t seconds after it is kicked, is modeled as h of t equals negative t squared plus 7t. How fast is the height of the soccer ball changing at two seconds? So the first thing to recognize is that they're asking for a rate of change because they're asking for how fast the height is changing. The second thing to notice is that they're asking for an instantaneous rate of change because they're asking for it at a specific point in time, at one point. So to find the instantaneous rate of change, let's use the centered interval method or the squeeze method that we just went over in the previous video. So they want the instantaneous rate of change at a time of two seconds. So what we do is we pick a time that is close to two seconds, but less than it. So let's pick 1.9. So there's a difference of 0.1 between 1.9 and two. And then we have to use that same difference and add it to two to get another time that's greater than two, so 2.1. And now what we do is we find the average rate of change between these two points that are close to two. And that slope of that line would approximate the slope of the tangent line at t is equal to two. So that would give us a good approximation for the instantaneous rate of change at two seconds. So following the same procedure that we've been doing in the previous videos, take these two t values, find what the h value would be. So we would plug this t value of 1.9 and 2.1 into the equation that we're given. x1, y1, x2, y2, find the average rate of change between these two points. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, do all the math and you get three meters per second. So this average rate of change between these two points that are very close to two seconds is a good approximation for the instantaneous rate of change at t is equal to two seconds, which is what we're trying to find. So the final answer is that the height of the soccer ball is changing at three meters per second at a time of two seconds. Now, if you wanna see this graphically, let's, uh, let's quickly do this. So we have to graph this, uh, this function here. Notice how it's a parabola. We could take out a negative t, so we'd be left with t minus seven, meaning the t-intercepts are zero and seven. So this is height here, and this is time. So at zero seconds, the ball is kicked, and then at seven seconds, it hits the ground. And they wanted to know how fast is the height of the soccer ball changing at two seconds. So at two seconds, somewhere here, how fast is it changing? We would have to find the slope of that tangent. So we found the slope of that tangent and we approximated it to be three meters per second. So what we did was we picked a point 1.9 and 9.69, which was very close to two. And then uh, 2.1 and 10.29, which was over here. And we found the slope between those points and that gave us a good approximation of the slope of the tangent at t is equal to two. So that's how it looks like uh, graphically. Centered interval method is pretty easy. Um, you only have to find the average rate of change once between two points that are close both to the left and right of the point that you're trying to find the instantaneous rate of change at.